guest, a talented uh, comedian, making his very first appearance on The Tonight Show. He's a regular performer at the Comic Strip in New York City. Please welcome Tom Carter. <laughs> Good to see you. I have a lot of problems. Let's get started. Hmm. I have allergies. I never had allergies before in my life. Suddenly, in the last three years, I've developed allergies. So now I have to take this allergy medicine every day called Ritalin because uh, I'm allergic to reality, as it turns out. I'm getting fat now. I got the love handles. That's what we call them now, the love handles. What is it really? Side blubber. That's what I have. Hip lard. Let's call it what it is, shall we? And I can't get rid of it. I was doing Jenny Craig for a while, but then her husband found out, and now... <laughs> it's tough to lose the weight. I'm trying like these gentlemen, you know, and I, I hate exercise. When I was a little kid, I had a lazy eye, and over the years, that spread throughout the rest of my body, and now... I get winded flossing. Mm. I'm a mess, you know? I used to be in shape. I used to do a lot of running. In my old job, I was a, uh, a purse snatcher. And people used to say, hey, you run like a girl. Duh, I'm carrying a purse, you moron, you know? I've been riding my bike a lot lately, and not just because of the DWI, but because they say that it's good for your cardiovascular system. And the goal there, of course, is to increase your heart rate, which I can do with porno and cocaine, you know? <laughs> I really am falling apart. I just went to see my doctor, and he gave me the worst news I've ever gotten in my life. He told me I'll never be able to have children because I, apparently, don't have a uterus. And... <laughs> Then he called me an idiot and took me off the pill. But uh, while I was there in his office, I asked him about a lump that I found on my breast. And it's all right, it turns out I was just chilly. <sighs> I was nervous. And I'm getting older now, so that's not helping, you know? I just had another birthday, and my parents on my birthday tried to surprise me with a car, but they missed. And, uh, Did you ever have one of those dads when you were a little kid who used to bum you out, used to embarrass you by kissing you on the lips? My dad used to kiss me on the lips till I slipped him the tongue. And, uh, now he won't even shake my hand. Mm. I remember in high school I got caught shoplifting once from a car dealership. It was a Buick. And my father said to me through the bars of the jail cell, because he was in the next cell, he said, you're no son of mine, which hurt me, and it confused my mother. She was like, damn it, how did he know? <laughs> so I have relationship issues, and I just found out my ex-girlfriend needs a kidney transplant, and I'm not really worried, because her body hasn't rejected an organ in 25 years. <laughs> no, no. That's not fair. Actually, in all fairness to her, she could probably count everyone she's ever slept with on one hand if she was holding a friggin' calculator, but I'm not bitter. <laughs> Over last Christmas, I was fortunate enough to see her get hit by a snowplow. And uh, that was kind of weird for me, because I had never driven a snowplow before. <laughs> understand women. I don't understand anybody. You know, why is it every time I'm about to do a show, some idiot will come up to me and say, hey, break a leg. Screw you. I hope you rupture your spleen, you idiot. They don't mean anything by it. We just don't even know what we're saying in our language. You know, like, I know it like the back of my hand. I don't even know the back of my hand. I'm intimately involved with the front of my hand, but that's not important right now. She's a party pooper. Ugh. <laughs> Keep her away from the dip. 
He's on the lam. He needs a girlfriend immediately. God, some of these things sound wrong, don't they? Why, he's really been down on himself. Lucky him. Like, uh, looking for a needle in a haystack. Who's shooting up in the barn? That's my question. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. What the hell is that? That's a squirrel on crack. That's what that is. She'll bend over backwards to please you. What's her number? Hey, I'm Tom Cotter. I thank you so much.